I'm here today with the third in our series of Sound Healing Made Easy with Vocal Toning. And today, I'm going to introduce you to my dog, Gacy. And we're going to do some uh, sound healing for your pet. So Casey's um, a boxer. He's one of two. I have another boxer, Br uh, Bella, who's a brindle. And Casey is eight. They're both eight. They came from the same litter. And um, so we're going to do a little bit of uh, this vocal toning for our pet. Now, you know, you can work with your pets, and most of you probably already do. You work with your pets sort of you know, just sort of using some hands-on. Sometimes you, you just give them love. That's why we call them our pets, because we, we just pet them. But I want to tell you that your dog has chakras, too. Good boy. They do, just like um, we do. And so um, the first two of our series, I showed you this chart, which shows all of the chakras on the human body. Right, from our base to our crown. Well, the pet chakras are the same thing. They have chakras just like we do. And they look a bit more like this. Now, if you look, see how it goes right up and down the spine, just like for us, we, they run along uh, ganglion nerves on our spinal cord, our chakras do, and they're focal points of energy. And your pet can receive a lot of healing from you when you are aware of them and where they are, and you can sort of use your attention and your intention to send some healing energy there. Oh, there's Casey. So the base chakra, just like for us, is right here at the tailbone for your pet. Yeah. And remember, we always start with a low tone. It doesn't have to be a perfect C or a perfect anything. Your pet will just enjoy your attention and intention sent to their focal points of energy. There's the base chakra. Mm -hmm. And you can move up to their second chakra. Right again, so same with us. It's a uh, orange in color. It's all about their feelings. And the third chakra, now the third chakra has, if you look at your little chart here, your third chakra will show two points. And that's because our chakras, all of them, have a front, uh, well I should say uh, most all of the seven, the main seven, have a front chakra right, and a rear chakra chakra. Now our chakras, if you sense or feel them, they're like a funnel. They, they sort of have this funnel shape to them, right? So there's the rear. Uh-uh. You stay for a minute, honey. Are you being camera shy? <laughs> Good boy. There's our third chakra, front and rear. And then you can move up to the fourth chakra. Good boy. Lie down. You can lie down. Good girl. Down. Oh. Good boy. There. Um. And then the fifth chakra also has a front and a rear. Right here at our throat. Casey actually has... Good boy, Casey. Casey actually has a thyroid condition, a low thyroid. Oh, so he really likes to have that work done. Good job. Yes, oh my goodness. And then, right at the, yeah, right at the brow, right here, is their sixth chakra. Yeah. Casey's got a nice white spot on his. And then their seventh at the crown. Oftentimes the seventh is depicted on your dog right here at the shoulder blades, sort of on either side. And I often wonder, I think there's a very large um, possibility that that's where the crown chakra is. It doesn't really matter for your healing today. Because, frankly, anywhere you pet your dog, your dog's going to love it. But they do like this area right here. Oh, yeah, good boy. He did a good boy. So again, knowing where the chakras are, now we can start with 
I like to keep my hands balanced on my pet. You know, when, when Casey or his sister Bella, um, when I'm sort of lying with them and working on them, you know, I keep one hand on one part of the body, maybe on their chest. That's very calming for dogs. And then we can place the other hand at their base chakra and start with a low tone. You can just wait and feel and see how they're see how he's doing. And then you can move up. chakra maybe doesn't care for that and then moving up Casey really likes the low tones. He's had leg issues. He's had surgery on his uh, one of his knees. His, so that would be related to his first chakra. So low tones like mm, he particularly enjoys. But you know, back to your pet, whatever your pet may need, you can come up to your fifth chakra. Mm -hmm. Up to his third eye. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of nice to yeah, come here. Come here, you. Mm -hmm. And then to his crown. So, you know, oftentimes we've, I've done the toning in, and I've raised the pitch of the tone. But you don't need to do that. If your pet is enjoying that, that's one thing. I happen to know that my two dogs, Casey and Belle, good boy, good boy, there you go, honey. Yeah. I happen to know that they love that low tone. So all of their chakras can receive toning of whatever frequency that you desire. You know, you sort of, you can get in and feel and see how they're feeling. And he likes that low. Sort of that low tone. So that's toning for your chakras. Um, on your pet and you can do this on your cat as well um, or your dogs and um, again even just focusing your attention and your intention on their chakras with or without a tone can be incredibly healing for your pet they love that they love to be petted and when you have the experience of their chakras you can sort of feel into their different energy centers and what they might need that particular day. As I say, both my pets do enjoy that low tone, which makes sense since their leg issues would be pertained to uh, their first chakra. So I hope you found that helpful and um, you'll have a chart with your dog's chakras and again, just bringing an awareness to those focal points of energy can be incredibly helpful for you and your pet because you know when your pet's happy you're happy and when you're happy your pet's happy so much of um, what we do with our pets is um, being in resonance with them right which is another frequency musical tone we know that when we're 
upset or alarmed. It can upset our pets. And when we can let that go for a few minutes and tune into them, it can make a big difference in their health, in their overall health. So until next time, um, I uh, hope you have some happy healing and I hope this has been helpful for you to work with your pet. Um, you know, they just give us such unconditional love, don't they? They really do. Mm. So I hope to see you soon. Good job.